Okay, good afternoon everybody. We are here today at Old Federal Campground in Flowery Branch, Georgia. You saw this place two years ago. It was the first campground I ever came to in the Queen. And I just fell in love with the place. And now that the Queen is all fixed up nicely, I wanted to come back. So here are here is my site. It's really a, a nice site. It's a pull-in forward one. But you got a beautiful view from outside. Um, unfortunately, I actually screwed up in booking a little bit. This site up here in front, this is the site, this site in front of us, this is actually, that's where I was uh, two years ago. And my plan was for me to be back in that site and my parents to be in the site where I am here. Uh, unfortunately, I booked the wrong sites, so I am in this site and my folks are way over there. Not a huge deal, but this means they can't share my Wi-Fi, uh, which really sucks for them. Doesn't really affect me, but I still felt bad about it. So, but that slight annoyance got washed away when I just stood out here and looked at this view. How could you not fall in love with this place? Absolutely fantastic, beautiful view. A little bit of an eroded beach. They've had to put some rocks and stuff up there to keep the erosion down. Um, so, but other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. I just love this place. And it's really not that expensive. It's only, I think, uh, $35 a night. And uh, my folks, having their senior citizens pass, they were able to get uh, a half off, which kind of ticked me off. <laughs> I'm having to pay twice as much as they are. Uh, but I guess that's, that's the way things are. Uh, we've actually been here for two days. Uh, today is Thursday. We got here on Tuesday but I just really didn't feel like recording uh, yesterday. So I, we just hung out, ate food, enjoyed the view, read books, that kind of thing, watched a few movies, and, uh, and pretty much doing the exact same thing tonight. We're gonna be going out to dinner at some point, but other than that, we got nothing on the agenda. That's kind of the way we like it. We like to uh, get away and do nothing. I, uh, I don't like coming back home from vacation being more tired than I was when I left. Uh, so let's just buzz up here real quick. Hey everybody. Hello. How are we enjoying the campground? Is that my son over there? This is a wonderful place. Hi Sumo. Who's that? Getting spoiled as usual I see. <laughs> He's our evil guard dog, aren't you? Uh, the, uh, the RVs here are way above our class. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, come over here, I'll show you some of these RVs that are here. Here's one example. It's a beautiful bounder. I'd guess it to be about a 40 footer. Maybe not quite, so, quite that big, but my dad's is a 31, so when you compare 31 to this, I'd say, yeah, it's got to be close to 40. But over here, we have an even bigger one. So here we've got a something called a Monaco. It's just unbelievably big. This is a motor coach. This isn't even a motor home, it's a coach. Dual rear axles, I'd guess about 45 feet long huge sliding wall I'm gonna guess this this unit is at least a half a million dollars at least probably more huge 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 I just feel like a complete pauper here <laughs> my little African Queen is by far the smallest and most uh, rough unit here let's just put it that way Here's another amazing coach from Texas called an Itasca Winnebago. Unreal. 
This is the kind of thing people live in. Wanna go for a walk, Isn't Sumo? Funny. Isn't that funny, Sumo? Look Sumo, at ready to go for a walk? You wanna stop reading the book? Hmm? Yeah, you go for a walk. You wanna stop reading the book? Okay, so as most of you may remember from my last video, uh, my mom has been doing some things to attempt to revive the population of the monarch butterfly. And so we wanted to take this opportunity to show you her latest thing that she's come up with to make that uh, process a little easier, in case any of you want to get into it. Okay, hi, I'm Diane Carey, I'm Gordon's mom. Hello there. And I've been trying to help bring back the population of the monarch butterfly. And one way I'm doing it is to plant these seeds that I grew in my garden which are milkweed seeds from the Syriaca breed. They're the kind that need four months of uh, cold weather, so I'm gonna release them in the north. Right now I'm in Georgia, and I'm not gonna let them go in Georgia. But I wanna be able to throw them out of the car or throw them farther into a meadow, and every time I tried to throw the seeds, they just kinda went right next to me, and I couldn't get any distance on them. So I had to figure out a way to give them some weight so I could just take the seeds and throw them. So I came up with this seed bomb idea. Yeah. <laughs> The little parachutes want to get on me. I just got some RV toilet paper, which dissolves. There's almost nothing to it. It just falls apart. And I just take a few of the seeds from my pods. Come here, you. All right. Here are some seeds. I'll just put a few right there. They really want to go. They're ready to take off on their little parachutes and fly. And I just fold it up, box them in. And then to give it some weight, I found some, I just picked up gravel in a gravelly place. 
and I'm just going to put one rock inside. And then the hard part was trying to figure out a way to keep it together. I did, didn't want to use glue or anything that was unnatural like that, so I came up with this idea of using some raw egg. Where is it? There it is. And raw egg has the quality of being really nice and sticky. And thanks to my granddaughter Katie, I know that it dries hard as a rock on your kitchen floor. But it turns into this little seed bomb that's pretty impervious and I can put it right, I can throw it out of the car door if I want to, or I can just take it and put it in my slingshot and boo, and I'll get out into the middle of a meadow and the seeds will be planted. So go to wherever you need to buy seeds for your area and give it a try and put it in, you know, in a nice meadowy sunny area for the butterflies. All right, folks, I guess uh, this is it. Not a whole lot to this video, I know. We didn't really do much. Uh, we just sat and enjoyed our time here and relaxed and looked at this beautiful lake, which is really what vacation is all about, just relaxing and unwinding. And we really enjoyed it. So we are leaving tomorrow. My folks are heading back to Michigan, and I'm heading south. So we will see where I end up. If I come across anything interesting, I'll uh, put it on video for you. I will leave you with one more look at this beautiful lake. Absolutely picturesque. How could you not love it here? So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Facebook.com slash Rambo Michigander. Follow along with us. We'll see you next time.